Well, it's time to get on my soapbox again and whine about these stupid Chinese made HDMI to AV adapters which I love to use for security systems that I've been doing some work on. The newer security systems only have HDMI output. They don't have a composite output. And that's fine if you're going to look at it on a, an HDMI monitor. But in some of the installations I do, we're not just feeding them to one HDMI monitor, we're feeding them to composite monitors, feeding them into a, uh, an RF modulator for a distribution through a building. So these units are very useful because they take the HDMI signal and they convert it down to audio video. This is one that I had to fix. You saw that in my last video, the one that they, the switch wasn't soldered properly. And as you can see, it's just being fed from a, a, from a, a playbook. And I can feed it over HDMI and it actually gets its power from it and I've just got my aquarium video playing on it. Well, I had to bring another one in. And I received another unit that looks identical to this unit. I'm just moving some stuff away from here off my desk. Here's the next one that I got. And as you can see, before anybody comes along and says, well, you're supposed to power them up, I do have a USB power source plugged in. And I'll plug this thing in and plug it into video. And that's all it does. It doesn't even just do color bars. It does double color bars. I can plug the HDMI input that was plugged into the other one in. And are we going to get a picture? Are we not? No, we're not going to get a picture. I've got it plugged in, and that's all it does, right? You can see it there if I unplug it. Plug it back in. That's all it does. Is it shows me color bars. And not even correct color bars. Now, the other one, if I plug it into power, and I plug my video line in, it generates color bars as they're supposed to, and then when I plug my input in, it will generate video. My other one, for that matter, I don't even have to have it plugged into power. Okay, I can just plug in the HDMI, I'll get my color bars, and then I get my video. This new one, plug in the video, Plug in the power over HDMI. And that's all I get. <sighs> yeah, it seems like every one of these bloody things I buy does not work out of the box. But what do you expect? This is what you get when you deal with the Amazons and the Ebays of the world. Just what, more garbage so let's crack this one open and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it I should point out that even though they do look identical there's one slight difference if we look at the two of them here PAL NTSC NTSC PAL but the switch was reversed remember this is the one that if it's in the NTSC mode it outputs PAL and in the PAL mode it outputs NTSC so at least they got the labeling correct on the switch, but the unit itself is just not working. All it's doing is it's outputting color bars, but it's not even outputting the right color bars. Well, I mean, the quality looks to be a bit better. We'll, we'll remind you what the other one looked like. So the two of them are totally different. This is the one that I fixed before. And this is the new one. So, oh, and it's QC passed. So somebody actually tested it and it still doesn't work. So the units themselves are physically different even though they look almost identical. But unfortunately, I didn't even know where to begin on this thing. To tell you the truth, uh, there's no data or anything on them. 
I don't see any obviously broken solder connections like there was on the other one that the switch wasn't soldered down properly. Uh, I don't see anything real obvious just by doing a quick inspection on this thing. So I think I'm going to cut my losses and just uh, contact the vendor and say, hey, this thing doesn't work. Send me another one. Maybe I'll get lucky with the next one and it'll actually work out of the box. But that's two for two that don't work. One I was able to salvage. Buyer beware. If you're going to buy these little crappy little things, uh, be prepared for what you're going to get. They're just, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. In this case, boy, this one really doesn't work. It's got some pretty color bars on it, though. If only they were the right size. Well, here we go. It's going back. They actually want me to send this thing back to them, but they're going to pay the return charges to ship it back. So uh, they're getting it back, and I'm getting my money back. I'm not going to fix another one of these pieces of junk for what it cost. 15 bucks, but still... We'll, get, we'll send it back to them and uh, we'll try another one, but uh, I tell you, I'm not having much luck with uh, this garbage. Got it like this. The thing only arrived today and it's defective and I have until today to get it in the mail and get it back to them. Like the post office closes in uh, about seven minutes and I've got it seven minutes to get back to return this freaking thing. Otherwise, I won't get my money back. The process, though, is pretty simple. That picture's coming from the one that works. Make sure, making sure I'm sending back the one that doesn't work. Um, process is pretty simple, though. They just print off a, a return mailing label, and then they give you another one that you stick this inside the envelope. So, the envelope, please. That goes in there. And we stick this to the front of it. And then I race off to the post office and try not to get a speeding ticket getting there to mail this thing in time for it to go out today. And uh, that's the end of it. Thanks for watching.